What's going on everybody, it's Toxic Ozone for Ace Games TV and I finally completed Diablo. Me and a friend have been co-oping it through. Um, he's a monk, a tank monk, you know, like a tankish type monk. Tankish type monk. <laughs> um, so yeah, we finally defeated Diablo himself. Uh, extremely difficult fight, even on normal, so Nightmare and Onward is going to be literally Nightmare. It's going to be a nightmare, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, the fight in general is split into sort of three different uh, phases. First phase is fighting Diablo himself. Second phase is fighting a, tor um, a terror Diablo, or terror as he says. Um, he takes you into a terror phase. Um, it spawns, if there's one of you I guess it spawns one, but because there's two of us we're co op in it spawns two of us um, extra ads and we've got to kill those and then he comes back and we kill his terror side of him. And then we get pulled back out into the normal sides and then we finish him off. Um, we are now moving on to Nightmare mode. We've killed the Skeleton King. Um, I did capture that on video so that will be coming up in the next day or so. Probably on my own channel as I'm going to split the two up between Ace Games and my own channel so I can keep you know, a nice amount of videos on each. This, Like I said, this fight is all about avoiding damage. You need to avoid damage if you can avoid it. Avoid it. He does a lot of fire damage. Um, as you can see right around, um, I don't know, I'll let you know. <laughs> I thought it was going to happen there, but clearly not. Uh, there you go, there it is. He does that, so you've got to try and make sure you're in between the two balls of fire that are coming towards you. Uh, otherwise it hits you and it does a fair bit of damage. He also puts a debuff on you, which I don't think I got too often in this uh, in this fight. Um, it ticks for a load of damage constantly, so you need to be healing yourself. Luckily for me, I'm a demon hunter and I've got an ability that I pop. Like right now, it's on me now. As you can see, look at my health just plummet down. Um, so what I've done there is I've popped Shadow Power, I think it's called. Uh, that allows me to heal myself for three seconds for all damage dealt. Um, and I can use it twice. So I popped that also. You need to make sure you get out of that. Here's the part where, as you've seen how I bring up my inventory, I was low on life, my shadow power was on cooldown, there was no healing well near me and I forgot I didn't have my pots out. So what I've done is I've popped up the inventory to try and get them out but as soon as I do that, of course, he pulls us into the shadow phase, into the terror phase. This bit is a lot easier than being out in the standard phase. Like I said, he has spawned two of you, two extra ads, I'll tell you when that's going to happen. There you go, there they are there. Tank or whatever needs to pick them up and you just need to DPS them down, then that pulls Diablo back out of his, I don't know, hiding in the shadows, I guess. Like right now, you'll see him, he pops back out now. And then you just got to DPS down Diablo. Uh, as soon as that's done, you just rinse and repeat this section. As soon as that's done, he pulls you back out into the standard phase, and then you just finish him off. As you can see, he also brings up those cages. Um, the whole point in those cages is, if you get stuck in them, he'll then come running towards you, grab you, lift you up by the throat, and just drain the life out of you. I got a feeling I get caught once in this fight. I'm not sure. It hurts. <laughs> Basically, as soon as you see them, you'll see like a little shadow bit appear on the ground. If you see that and you're still on it, get out of it. If you get caught in that, you're going to die. Well, I say you're going to die. I survive, but... It hurts. So if you're low on life, you're gonna die. If you're full on life, you may survive, but it you if you're just putting extra you know pressure on your healer or on yourself to keep yourself up and take him down. So you just want to avoid it at all costs, really. Um, whilst I've basically explained the entire fight in what two minutes, two three minutes, and there's still another three minutes left of the video, I just want to give you my basic views on demon hunters at the moment. And on the game itself. The game itself is extremely fun. Um, the cinematics, Blizzard has done wonders with the cinematics. Cinematics are absolutely amazing. Some of the best cinematics I've ever seen in a game. Uh, the game is a lot of fun. It, my only quarrel with it is it could have been a little bit longer. But, you know, being able to run through Nightmare Mode, Inferno Mode, all that sort of stuff is going to be amazing. Nightmare mode at the moment is a real big increase in difficulty. As I said at the start of the video, it really is a lot more difficult. So it, it you know, not you, you've got to be prepared. You've got to be geared and you've got to be mentally ready to, you know. Most people think when they're going from one difficulty of a game to another difficulty that they can just jump into it and it's just slightly a little bit harder. It's not when it comes to Diablo. Normal and Nightmare is miles apart in difficulty. 
you really need to be prepared to you know learn learn your class a lot more with demon hunters you've got to learn to put down your traps slow them kite them stun them everything possible you can do to survive it's a lot more difficult in nightmare when they bring out the pvp patch it's going to add a lot more risk to the uh to the game you can have a lot more options you can come on you can farm gear you can go pvp yeah that's pretty much it but the pvp itself is going to be a lot of fun i'm not sure what versions they're going to have whether they're going to have something similar to world of warcraft like capture the flag capture the bases i know it's 4v4 so capture the bases probably won't happen but capture the flag may happen or it may just be standard um standard death match as you see there uh, that's one thing i forgot to mention he does a flame not that he does uh, like a channeled flame ability you've basically just got to run away from it just keep running until he stops casting if it hits you it's going to kill you this was our second attempt i believe because i was recording the first attempt and i got killed because we honestly didn't know what we were doing we just jumped into it there it is there if you look i avoid it and it does hardly any damage if it hits you it hurts you cannot stand in it you have to get out of it if you do not get out of it you're gonna die as I was saying, this is our second attempt on it because we just jumped into the fight thinking it was, you know, we knew it was going to be difficult. Here we go, I got caught. Watch my look at my health, just plummet. I had to pop a potion straight afterwards, otherwise I was going to die. So you cannot get caught in his cages. It's extremely painful if you get caught in it. He's going to make you pay. Let me go back, to, let me try not to get interrupted by the gameplay. And I'm going to go back to what I was saying before. <laughs> We jumped into the get into the boss fight, knowing it was going to be difficult because it was the last boss fight, but not knowing how difficult it was really going to be. Um, if you've got low vitality, I think I'm on like three k life, which is quite low really for for my level. Uh, my monk mate had five point eight k life, something like that. So he had a lot more survival than me. But so when he was hitting me with that channeled flame burst, it was really really making me. Uh, you know really taking my life away and it was really hurting so i had to make sure i avoided it if you don't avoid it you're gonna die so there it is there i avoid it it hits me a little bit but that's you know that's all i can do you can't really avoid it too much we're coming to the end of the fight now as you can see you've basically just got to keep pummeling into diablo until you know it, it destroys him and then once it destroys him you're going to get showered with gifts basically look at the amount of gold and blues drops i think we got a few rares as well but yeah um thanks for watching the video make sure you subscribe to ace games and my channel for future nightmare boss attempts and uh yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon bye for now